Welcome! In this video we will take you through the download and installation of OpenDDupe. We will then show how to configure an OpenDDupe volume to be used as a local storage device. Using a browser, go to the OpenDDupe.org website and click on Download. It will then take you to the download page. Make sure you download from where it says Backup Exec Downloads, as the download in the Windows section will not work with Backup Exec. The versions you see in the video were current at the time of this recording. Download both the SDFS binaries and the OST downloads. For this video, the downloads have already been run. After the download has completed, go to the path where the files were saved and extract the OST zip file first. Open the extracted folder and copy the libstspi-opendupe.dll file and paste that into the program files veritas backup exec folder. As the OpenDDupe install will require a reboot, it is easier to copy this file first so we will not need to carry out additional backup exec service restarts to pick up this new DLL later. Next, proceed to install OpenDDupe by running the SDFS setup application. Both SDFS setup and Dokkan setup need to be selected. It will then ask for the path, but typically there will be no need to change this from the default, as this is just for the program binaries. Click Install to start installing the SDFS binaries, and when prompted, agree the terms and conditions for Dokkan and click Install. When both setups are done, the OpenDDupe.org website will open to the Quick Start page. When you close the setup window, this pop-up appears alerting you that the server now needs a reboot. Selecting Yes will do exactly that, so if you wish to reboot later, choose No. We will reboot now. We will now configure a local OpenDDupe volume on the Backup Exec server. To do this, we need to use the OpenDDupe configuration tool. We will copy this tool from the be slash winnt slash utils slash x64 folder within the Backup Exec install ISO to the Backup Exec program files path on the server. After this has been copied over, open the folder and right click on Open DDupe Config UI.exe and choose Run as Administrator. When the tool opens, we click on Add Volume and a new window opens with the default settings. We want to create a local volume, so we start with a volume name and we'll use local underscore odd, where odd is an acronym used for Open DDupe. For this example, we are using an SSD volume and we will just set it to use 100 gigabytes. But generally, you should set the capacity to be the available size of the volume used. With regards to the use of SSDs, these are strongly recommended due to the I.O. intensity of doing inline deduplication. For larger volumes where SSDs might be too costly, if possible, configure the system with more smaller disks, configured with RAID 5 or 6, instead of less disks with higher capacity. RAID 6 is recommended where there are more than 10 disks in the volume. Continuing on, we then choose the mount drive letter for this volume. Select any unused letter, but our preference is to work backwards from the end. Next is the data path. This defaults to where the SDFS product was installed, but typically you would never use this path. This is where you browse and ideally change it to your best performing volume. When you specify a path, it will always append the volume name you gave earlier in the top box, 
to the specified path. As you see, we just chose the x colon volume and it automatically added the local underscore odd folder. We need to set the password, which needs to be at least eight characters. This is the password that will be needed later when we create the logon account to use with OpenDDupe within Backup Exec. For the logon account, the name does not matter at all, just that the password needs to match with what is entered here. Finally, we need to set the OST server name. It is by this name that Backup Exec will find this device when we are adding the device to Backup Exec later. We prefer to use the same name as the volume LSU name minus the underscore, but you can use any name you wish. Just as long as you do not name the OST server name the same as the Backup Exec server name. When we click OK, it will then go ahead and create the open dedupe file system. This is just creating the file system, but the volume will not be mounted yet. That will only happen when it is added to Backup Exec as a device. It was successfully created and we will now click Close. The configuration window will now show the newly created volume, listing the volume name, OST server name, type, the assigned drive letter, port used and the data path. If you need to be reminded of any of this, in the future open the configuration tool and it will show you. Now that the open dedupe volume has been created, we can add it as a storage device in Backup Exec. So let's open Backup Exec, go to the Storage tab and click on Configure Storage. Here we choose Network Storage as this is what is used for OST devices. Then select Open Storage and click Next to reach where we need to type in the name. This is a friendly name meaning it can be anything you like it to be. You can also add a description to the device if needed. For example, if you want to use the description to indicate a certain type of backup this device is used for. Click Next and it now lists the open storage types that are available for this Backup Exec server. We choose Open Dedupe and click Next. This is an important part of the device configuration as the OST server name needs to be provided and must be exactly the same name as was typed into the earlier configuration tool. Let's take a quick look again at what was displayed in the tool after we had configured the volume. OK, so now we have refreshed our memory and know that we need to type in local odd as the server name. The logon account displays this warning just because this is the default logon account and it knows it cannot use this account. So let's create an account we can use for this device. We do that by clicking on Add Edit on the right hand side, then Add. We then type in a username that is appropriate for its purpose. And then importantly, we use the exact same password that was used when we created the volume using the Open Dedupe configuration tool. It might be useful to add some notes about this account, maybe even with a hint that is meaningful to you or a limited number of people, of what was used as the password. When done, click OK. The new logon account has now been added and is by default the highlighted one. So we just need to click OK and then Next. It will now take a few seconds as it will mount the open dedupe volume in the background and then the next page will show the LSU available. This will have the name of the volume as it was entered in the open dedupe configuration tool. Select it and click Next then continue through the usual device configuration steps. Once on the summary screen, click Finish and the device will be created in Backup Exec. This cannot be brought online until the Backup Exec services are restarted, but as the Open Dedupe account does not have rights to do that, when prompted to restart services, select No. When back at the Backup Exec console, use the gear icon to open the Services Manager and restart the Backup Exec services. After the services have restarted, the device is ready for use. 
That concludes this demonstration where we have shown you how to download, install and configure a local storage device using OpenDDupe. Please see a later video on how to configure an OpenDDupe device in the cloud and how to configure optimised duplication between the local and cloud OpenDDupe devices. Thank you for watching this video and look out for others in the future. For formal training courses, please visit the Veritas Education Services page at www.veritas.com slash services slash education services slash training courses. Also remember to visit our support pages at www.veritas.com support for further information.